This is the part of Thursday that I always have a big stupid smile on my face because my buddy mm -hmm. Catalina Sylvain is in the house. What's up, Al? How you doing? Good to see you. I'm chilling. I'm good. I know. Like this is the second time this week. I feel like a lucky man. Oh, was that all, was that Monday already? I know. Like Don't ask week. me what day it is. I know. I barely know. It's crazy. <laughs> all right. So Craig Jax uh, has listed for this week uh, and next week. What do you have on the agenda, please? Oh, we got so much. So starting with tonight, Young the Giant is going to be at the St. Augustine Amphitheater. And this is a really popular alt rock band. There's so much fun. You might know some of their hits. My Body, Cough Syrup, Mind Over Matter. Uh, they've got Milky Chance with them opening. Uh, we also spoke to the group's leader. Uh, lead singer, sorry, Samir Gadia about the show recently. You take a listen. All right. You know, you, you can always try to start at a theme, but, you know, uh, that often ends up limiting you. I think what we do is, is try and unthink, mm -hmm. even when you are living within a structure like this, where there's a storyline that already exists. Um, I know before even American Bollywood was an idea, we'd written, you know, 50, 60 songs, um, and we're just trying to see what, was naturally coming out and there's, you know, from the subconscious. And um, I think when we finally hit on the theme, which often happens kind of midpoint into what seems like the end of a writing process, um, that's kind of when we really hit the gas. And <clears throat> it's a fine balance of, of not letting structure, like, overrule everything you're doing, allowing for improvisation and space. Um, yeah, I love songwriting that just you have the ability to really function on so many layers and you know the people who could listen to many tracks on this record and, and see it as um story of love and story of loss and um on its face there are so many elements like that, but if you kind of dig deeper in some of the significance in uh you know, you can kind of wade into you know deeper territory. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I didn't understand what the hell he was talking about. <laughs> like, I don't know. But I'm just going to ask you, like, is the music good? The music is good. Okay, because I haven't heard him before. So, like, I think if I hear the music <laughs> and I hear that sound clip, then I will understand. Because I heard Bollywood. I heard, I oh, okay. Listen, I'll put it this way. So, with some bands, with some artists, like, you really have to intently listen to the lyrics to, like, really understand the, That's my jam. the song as a whole. With them, they are, like... 50 50 get into the lyrics but also you can just like let go okay. and just let the actual music the track itself just take you and that's those are my favorite shows to go to because that's my version of church my super producer stacy just said like you idiot he was talking about his new record i'm 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 sorry stacy i'm just i'm i'm trying i'm old i'm i'm trying to figure all these new things out you ain't that old out I'm, I'm, you're still in it you're yeah, still in the you know, game I'm, I'm still in it. you know I'm a, I'm a little bit of a silver fox though it's okay it's okay so please uh tell me more tell me more what yeah. else is going on so uh, Friday night, tomorrow night, there's this really cool exhibition popping up at Wild Crafters, a show of lights by Meredith Mason. And this is to show, showcase her lights, which are all handmade, one of a kind. Wow. And this collection is intentionally playful and very colorful because she said, and I quote, I believe this world needs color and light and I'm bringing it. Okay. So with that okay. kind of like, we know exactly what we're going into, and it sounds really fun. And the pieces themselves are also available for purchase in case you fall in love with one mm -hmm, or two. Mm -hmm. So that's tomorrow night at Wild Crafters, which is a fantastic uh, booze-free bar if you haven't checked it out yet. Yep, I love it. What else you got? Now, Saturday, this is a whole thing. This is the Natural Beauty Fest at the Equestrian Center. It is the largest natural beauty and wellness festival in Jacksonville. It's a great place for naturalists looking to... You know, learn more, connect with like-minded people or salon owners who are looking to book some new clients, make a little extra money, which we're always doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they'll have lock stations, braiding stations, haircuts on site. So if you need a little touch up and you can't get in with your uh, your usual, maybe you might have some luck at the See, National I don't, Beauty I don't, Fest. I don't have a, a usual here. In, in, I've, I've got a usual for my haircut, but I do not have a usual for my locks. No. So I need to go. I know, I know. I, that surprises me. I thought someone, for you with literal roots here, yes. would know, like, this is my person, this is who I go to. Well, my person isn't doing hair anymore. So, like, you uh, know. You need to go to the I Natural gotta, Beauty I, Fest I gotta, I gotta find somebody. <laughs> like, in Oakland, I'm good. Like, I go to my dude. He's good. But, but you're gonna be here for a I minute. Know. So it's I, time to just. You have just given me the key thank you very much you're very welcome that leads us right into reggae sunday <laughs> yeah you've got the locks already yes. you've got the good vibes uh bring it to reggae sunday at wicked barley they have one of my most favorite uh back patios in 
Jacksonville because it backs right up to I believe it's Potter's Creek, mm-hmm. um, and it's it's incredible. And this this party specifically is like no bad vibes, only goodness. Everyone's you know winding down the week, getting ready for the new week. They'll have food, some of their incredible beer, and they'll have two of Jacksonville's best reggae bands, Split Tone, who I spent yep. a lot of my twenties watching at the yep, beach yep, bars, yep, yep. <laughs> and King Eddie, Peely Peely. So the music is going to be fire. I spent a lot of my twenties. I was about to say. <laughs> Right on, right on. Okay. And that starts at uh, 11 a.m. on Sunday. And it's free to attend. By the way, have you seen the ads for the, the new Bob Marley movie? Yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I'm not sure. I mean, I love Bob. I love, yeah. I love Bob. I'm always, I'm always a little suspicious of biopics. Oh, but I'm Kingsley like, Benadir mm. is a great actor. If you haven't seen him in the new Secret Invasion Marvel show. Oh, we should talk about that because um, <laughs> I have thoughts. I oh, have no. thoughts. Does that need to be another review? We need should to, we bring that up in, listen, <laughs> at a I'm later gonna, time? I'm going to bring my buddy Batter on here who is all things like comic books. And I we love Batter. We could, talk we could go all day. Yeah. We could talk. All right. Skip. We, we, we still got some more to go. Go ahead. All right. And then uh, on the 28th, skipping ahead a little bit, the Wicked Out Pop-Up Gallery is a special event put on by Placemaking Jacks, which if you don't know, Placemaking is where they're activating unused areas of downtown. So this is the first of, a, of three pop-ups in the Petite series. And this one is going to be tied in with Sweet Peas. It's on, on Hogan Street downtown. It'll be an art gallery space where artists are showcasing their interpretation of Florida. So who knows, you know, that looks like di- that's different for everyone through their own lens. DJ Al Pete will be there, who we love. And so it'll be love, a good time. And love. that'll be from 6.30 to 9.30, and it's free to attend. Al Pete is, is my dude and doppelganger. He stole my name. <laughs> like, I'm the he only... St- he did. Yeah, Not he his did. mom. No, he, <laughs> he stole my name. He was like, Al, Al Letson, that's a good name. I'm going to take well, it. Well, then you can show up to Sweet Pete's on the 28th, and you can... No, nah, but we're, he's my man. Out. He's my... No, 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 no. I've given him... You know, he can go ahead and do his thing. It's fine. So kind it's, of you to let him keep his name. I am a giver. Very humble I, as thank well. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know me so well. I've known you for two weeks. <laughs> I know. I know. What else we got? A silent disco. What yes. is what is this? So like, okay, so it's, it's, this is the thing where people put heads on, headphones, headphones on, on. Mm-hmm. and dance without music actually playing. So Not out in the air. Not normally. So Hush Hush is really well known for these parties. They do it really, really well. You get a pair of headphones and there's three channels it's and you're connected to one dj at one table but there's three channels it's usually throwbacks uh current hits and there's there's a request line so when you're on the request line part in your headphones <laughs> anything could come up literally okay but it's so much fun and it's also a, an interesting way of how they get around the sound ordinance at 10 p.m in jacksonville that and is so smart it's so fun there's something very different about the hush hush silent discos where you're looking across a bar not everyone around you is listening to the same station that you are but you spot that one person across the bar who is, and you are vibing with a stranger for a few seconds, and it's it's really it's it's very unique. It's a lot of fun. It's at uh, Ruby Beach tomorrow night from nine to midnight, and it's eight bucks. All right, next one. Now this sounds very romantic. This is the Midsummer Night Out at the Jacksonville Arboretum. Have you mm-hmm. ever been there? I have not. Oh, I didn't Al. even know we had an arboretum. Stop! This is it's so beautiful. Okay. On any other day, it is just it's a great hike. It's a uh, just a really pretty walk. And this is Shakespeare, the UNF Shakespeare Club, doing a, min- some, a section of Midsummer Night's Dream. Be a live DJ, optional speed dating, which sounds very interesting too. That's the 28th. The tickets start at $15. Sweet. My friend, Catalina Sylvain of Create Jacks, thank you so much for hipping me to what's going on in town. Thank you, Al.